Her name is Akos. Akosuya has Akos. been deaf all her life. Ten years ago, she left Suhum, her hometown, to come and live in Accra. She used to attend a mainstream church that had an interpreter, but she had to stop going because she says she didn't like it. Uh, uh, the, 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 the preaching over there is not the same. The word of God is not the same, though the Bible is one, but the way they are, they are preaching is not the, the same. Hmm. When they preach, they say, ah, no, this is not what I want. Last year, she found one of the very few churches for the deaf in Kukumlimli, the Accra suburb where she lives. Mm -hmm. Soon after she joined, the school, the school in which they worship threw them out. And now she walks from Kukumlimli to Abusuokai, a journey of about 45 minutes, where the church has now moved to. This church is where Akusia worships now. Inside, the congregants, all of them deaf, are busy in worship. Around 500,000 deaf people live in Ghana. The fraction in this church today are only a tiny bit of that number. Many mainstream churches in Ghana do not have sign language interpreters. And the stigma around being deaf means even if they did have interpreters, many of these people would not go there. In here, in the small space, the deaf community do not only have a place to commune with their God, but also a refuge where they can worship with people like them. I am Kwevi Asiamate Israel. So the Lord has given me the, uh, the commission to be with the deaf community. We have uh, over 80 people and we have run this church more than, more than 25 years now. If sign language is a recognized language in Ghana, what a wonderful, it will be a wonderful thing. Yes, it will really help the nation because uh, these people, uh, assuming we are like we, in, a, in society, people understand the way people understand tree, airway, ga, and then the deaf come to you and then you can communicate with them. Mostly when they go to the hospitals, they tr struggle. The struggle they go through at the hospital is another thing altogether. So, as you mean, the nurses, the doctors, they also know uh, this language. They can sign. So, they will be able to tell, the, I mean, we, we will not have a lot of uh, problem. So, if this, this language is made as a national, it's also it's recognized in society, it will really help the, the nation. Because the deaf cannot speak, when they want to pray, they close their eyes, use sign language to say what they want to say, and keep clapping to send their message across. Those who have partial speaking ability mama out words only they can understand. Um, when you hear, you see the, the hearing people, you go there and then uh, they are preaching, you don't hear anything, you only sleep, sleep, sleep. The only thing that we do is amen. I watch the mouth of the pastor and then I say, uh, when the pastor say amen, I know that he's saying amen. Then I also say amen and we don't benefit. The challenges that deaf people have finding a place to worship is only a tip of the iceberg and shows a much bigger problem. Many mainstream schools do not have interpreters, several hospitals don't, and schools for the deaf are few. The sign language is not recognized officially in Ghana. Yeah. 
Deaf people are only a small part of Ghana's community of the physically challenged. The issues they face with inclusivity in this day and age is only a stark reminder of how much more work needs to be done to make everyone feel a part of the bigger Kenyan society. Justice Beidou, Joy News, Accra.